community members, and concerned citizens alike have raised questions recently surrounding the City of Racine's Ethics Board and some of its members. Recently, two members of the Ethics Board, with close ties to the mayor, failed to recuse themselves and instead even acknowledged their personal and financial support of Mayor John Dickert. I did host one of the uh, Mayor Dickert's uh, fundraisers at uh, Ivanhoe. Uh, in particular, I don't even remember this event. Very well yeah. said, do you know? <laughs> I, I have lots of fundraisers for lots of politicians, you know, and myself. Thank you. The main question residents seem to be asking is how can you as an ethics board member host a fundraiser and donate to the mayor's campaign all while sitting on the ethics board and unbiasedly consider ethics charges against the people you publicly and financially support? In fact, if I supported the politician and he's alleged to have it, uh, acted inappropriately, I'm probably going to look at it even harder because I supported him for office. Answer a couple of questions. Actually, I chair you this. No. A couple of questions. No the press about what constitutes an ethics violation. No. If you'd like. I certainly can't tell you what would constitute a violation. To determine whether, based on the allegations stated in the complaints we're considering, there is probable cause to believe there has been a violation of the city code of ethics. We are not looking into the truth. There's also the video that shows board member Russell Mizzarelli sleeping throughout the ethics board meeting. And why don't we address the council issue at that time? Let's see how involved it is. That, that seems reasonable to me. Any, any, any other discussion? 